Hey guys, Ron here. Hope everyone's well. Today I'm going to do two houses. One has at least one security guard, <coughs> excuse me, sitting out front. And I knew to look for it because he was here like two years ago when I filmed the house the first time. So I'll do what I can. The other one does not. But the other one, we're not going to get much of a view. We're just going to get, uh, we're just going to get uh, a big hedge and a, uh, and a little fence. So I'm going to show you the house of Jim Carrey, which is currently up for sale for $28.9 million. Right across the street is LeBron James' house. Now that's LeBron's house right there. Well, like I said, I have filmed it before. And look at all those cars. And in the SUV there is a security guard. Well, LeBron's always got visitors, it appears. Let's walk down and see what we can see. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Maybe the security guard will think I'm FaceTiming. Or FaceTiming or, you know, just talking to somebody. I don't know what. I don't know what. Now, the Jim Carrey house is really spectacular. Boy, it's 57 degrees, which for Los Angeles is cold during the day. It's literally right across the street where the hedge starts. So it's really a spectacular property. I wish we could see Jim Carrey's house here, but all we can see is the hedge. He says that the owls come to him in the backyard at night. He's lived here for decades, but it's just time to sell. Looks like there's a guest house there. Some solar panels. Here's more of LeBron's house. There's a camera right there. more of the guest house there I'm sorry we can't see see much folks I think I'm gonna put the camera down when I walk past LeBron and come back from the other direction this is all the Jim Carrey estate all this property okay, I'm gonna shut down for a minute let's try to take a surreptitious look at the LeBron house here again and all his visitors coming up to the security guard here. So I'll shut down now. More surreptitious views of LeBron James' house. Like I said, I have a video on this. Oh gosh, it was well over a year ago. Probably two. Cameras everywhere. Look at all these visitors. And look at this. Oh, that's his DWPO. Okay, that's LA Department of Water and Power. I thought they had blocked those off for his visitors, but they seem to always park up here. And we're going to come back when we get to Jim Carrey's house. So, anyway, so we know about Jim Carrey. Canadian comedian slash actor, dramatic actor. If there's one quote I remember from Jim Carrey. I think I got this when there's, they made a documentary about the uh, making of the Andy Kaufman movie that he did. And he said in the movie, in the documentary, he said he would lay in bed in his night in Canada and think, what do they want? What do they want? Meaning the audience. And he said it would occur to him finally that what they want is just to feel good, to feel happy, to forget their problems for a little bit. And he said that's what he came out and started doing in his act, just being silly and hoping his audience forgot their problems for a while. Anyway, let's see what we got. Like I said, Jim Carrey is so iconic, I don't think I need to give a biography of him. Because we all know who he is. So now I'm going uphill, back uphill. This is a beautiful street in Brentwood. It's right off a street called Kenter Canyon. If you take Kenter Canyon from Sunset Boulevard, this is right off Sunset Boulevard too. If you take Sunset Boulevard to Kenter Canyon, which is one street over, and you take Kenter all the way up, then uh, there's a camera here too. 
Then at the very top of Kenter is a big hiking trail. Oh wow, check that out. You can see this from Kenter. Look at this on the hill. That's the Getty Museum there up on the hill. I mean, you can't tell, but that's the humongous Getty Museum up on Skirball, up above the 405 freeway in the Spolvita Pass. That's how high we are. It's just like one, <coughs> one mountain over, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's the Getty. That's amazing. That's pretty high up. There's tremendous views of all of Los Angeles, including the ocean from up there. That's why I like to go and look at the art. All right, so here we are again at Jim Carrey's entrance. And another entrance. It looks like a motion detector up there. So like I say, this is for sale. Again, I apologize. We're not seeing any of the house. But it's for sale for $28.9 million. There's another motion detector there. A lot of traffic though, huh? Let's see, Tesla, BMW, that's about right. Another gate. I think he's lived here about 30 years. I don't know why he's selling, but everybody sells at different times for different reasons. Now, are they gonna get the, <coughs> excuse me, the 28.9 million? Who knows? getting a little stormy okay folks so well, I don't know what else to say other than I like I say sorry we only see these huge hedges but um, this is an awfully big property and a beautiful property you can actually look it up online I mean just you know Google Jim Carrey house and uh, you'll see it anyway all right guys I'm gonna do this one cut this one short because it's not too much else to say other than I want to show you the properties and we got a little bit of look over to Braun's house, huh? even though the security guard's sitting in his SUV there with the window open. So I didn't want to get too intrusive. All right, guys. So I will see you at the next location. You know me. My name is Ron. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button, and you'll see when I post. And please give me likes. Comments are always, almost always appreciated, unless they're just outright hostile, which is silly and rare, but... Sometimes people are hostile. That's just the way it is. All right, guys. I will see you at the next location. Bye-bye.